as quilters, we all love color, and we probably have a favorite color, and you can find that color in every quilt we make, and that's great, but don't forget the rest of the colors and the other fabrics that you already have. I want to show you how to take all your fat quarters and put them together into a beautiful color palette for your next quilt. I'm Leah Louise from Inspired Quilting by Leah Louise, and I have some new fat quarters that I want to show you how I can mix up with the fabrics I already have. So let's get started. You're going to love this. What's more exciting than some new fabric? Oh my goodness. I have been waiting for this to come in. This in particular is what I need to finish my quarter log cabin. You remember the uh, I started this a week or so ago and look at all these. I've got most of my squares cut and I just wanted to get some a large piece of fabric so I can put the uh, quilt set it on point with a single fabric instead of making lots of extra blocks in a different size. This is a very easy way to do on point and I can't wait to show you. And I love this. It's just, look at this. Look at how pretty all these look. Let me just spread some around. Oh. And it has a couple shades of pink, a couple shades, well actually a green and sort of a, a tealy color. I can't open these. They're all, there we go. And, but see how these, you know, these colors just work so well with the blocks. I think it's going to be beautiful. My concern was on the blocks that I have the light outer edge that it might be too much the same, but I think that's going to be great because it's going to be carried out throughout the entire outer edge of the quilt. It's going to stand back kind of on its own. These are brighter, bolder pieces. Even though they have a white light background, they do have tend to have more color in them and a design that's more dominant. So that's going to work out perfectly. I'm excited about that. There's plenty here. I don't know, I bought three or four yards just to make sure I have enough plus extra because what a great low volume fabric. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Now you may remember, Last month, I showed you some new fabrics I had gotten from the Fat Quarter Club. I do the um, the club on a monthly basis, and what do we have here? Oh, this was sweater weather, and here's the and I got it in November. And you may recall there was a particular fabric that I really, really liked. This one here, and I wanted to get more of it. So let me show you what I have just take that out and just set this over here and this is that fabric and I absolutely love it it's a beautiful batik and what I particularly absolutely love with this are all the colors um you know from these bright fuchsia pinks to pale pinks to just a little bit of a, a, a golden um, pinky yellow color and then we've got, you know, some purples in the background. I just, I love all these colors together. And then there's some greens. Of course, you know, that just does it for me. I love when there's greens and blues in a fabric. But what I really am excited about is if you remember, I cut a lot of um, fat quarters up for the quilt that I'm making, the quarter log cabin. And because, eh, that doesn't quite do, because it, has a lot of, whoops, I can't get myself here. Because it had a lot of extra fabric, I mostly cut everything out of fat quarters. I cut some five inch squares as well. And I just wanna show you, okay, some of these, you know, just how these, these colors can work in really well. Got some of those. Oh, and look at this. I, I just think that's so pretty. But see how you can just group colors together with, with a, common, a common background. So one of the easiest ways to group your colors is to find a fabric that you really, really like that has lots of color in it. And then just start pulling those colors together. I mean, actually this one, um, oh, these are pretty. That works in there really well. Now these are all stacked, so there's a lot of different colors in here. So let me get another one and some of this one. So I like that fuchsia one and you know there's some more underneath there 
and then oh what's underneath oh okay those are double done double double folded so I've got these and then look at so all these wonderful fabrics are going to go great with this piece so I'm working on getting my fabrics together for um, a couple charm quilts and this is kind of the direction I'm going to go and I just think they're going to look wonderful these colors are beautiful they stand so well together and I just am excited to see what it's going to be and of course you always have to add a few K facets and and I love my batiks I keep lots of batiks ready ready for you know any moment any given quilt I, I need to grab some batiks and even though this one was a dark orange that I probably wouldn't use you know there's some fun green and sort of salmony coral colors that would work well so always you know when you have a, a, a fabric like this or if you have um, difficulty in choosing fabrics on your own without you know you always buy a collection which is great but even if you buy a collection add some more fabrics to it personalize it so that it's it's more representative of you this is a great way to uh, to pull fabrics together and this is so pretty oh my goodness I can't wait can't wait to get started on that one and then this was the other piece this is the same same print but all in greens and I just love the shades of green in here um, this will go with so much and I'm really really excited about um, about using it and then I I must have ordered it in pink too <laughs> oh look at that I forgot I got both of them together and this look at this blush pink oh you can tell I really liked this this foliage print I think it looks wonderful oh my goodness yes more more fabric but I use it and I go through it don't think that I just collect it and it sits on my shelf because I absolutely put my fabric to very good use and I've used all the fabric that I bought last year so I'm pretty excited about that you may recognize my fat quarter shop um, bundle of the month I get my fat quarters every month and this is my February and it's called made with love oh look at these that's so pretty and I, I get the uh, Hoffman Valley Batik simply because I love batiks and they're great blenders they go so well with other fabrics because batiks generally have a lot of color in them and I really enjoy working with all that color oh look at that oh my gosh I love that print there's another larger sunflower that I have just loved over the years but this is a fun one oh my goodness I just just love how the shading goes through the pillows oh my <laughs> pretty pretty so we have some great you know this is almost like a dark raspberry blackberry color oh wow and these up oh, strawberries see that's what put the idea in my head and look at this just you know um just a monotone but yet with with a enough of the uh, lighter color that it gives it a lot of interest i i just don't use solids anymore so i would use something like this as a solid and uh let's look at this here oh that's pretty little more of a lavender but look it brings in that blue how sweet is that oh my goodness it has the just the tiniest little little leaf patterns on here but the colors oh I love it it's beautiful and again these are dots um, sort of on a watercolor but I would use that as a solid and it looks beautiful oh pretty another another light pink let's see this this sort of kind of goes along with these oh how pretty are those together mm, spring quilt can you see it coming oh and look another one definitely low volume and just so dainty you know it's similar to those but it's a smaller print ah oh, it's so pretty I love it and check out these ferns oh my goodness oh do I love those um, if you've watched my videos for any length of time you know I spent some time living on an island and I love love seeing you know large leaf foliage prints and you don't always find them 
And I just think this is beautiful. This might be something I'll have to get more of and get a nice big piece. Oh, it'd be a gorgeous quilt back. Okay, yep, getting some ideas. And that's what I love about looking at a new bundle and, you know, taking each piece individually and thinking, yes, it works great in a, in a group, but what can I do with that fabric in particular as well? And these are the just sort of tone on tone low volumes. And oh, they're so pretty. They're, they're a creamy color with just the littlest bit of, I don't want to say a golden brown, maybe a tannish brown. And it has white dots or light dots. It's not exactly white, but it again has that watercolor background. And this, I don't know how much this will show up in the camera. Same color background, but with a leaf print on it that's really pretty. Oh, and the sunflowers. These are the same sunflowers from uh, from here. It's just done in a, you know, monochromatic white on white, basically, or, or beige, or I don't even know what to call these colors anymore. I just call them low volume, and I think we all sort of understand what that is. But there's even a little bit of gray, and oh, so pretty. So this is where I get excited every month is I, I get a fabric like this, um, a fabric collection, and then I can just, you know, work with it and I may break it up. Sometimes I'll use it exactly as it is together, bring in a lot more and create a wonderful quilt. Sometimes I'll pull a couple pieces out and, you know, use that with some other fabrics that I have. But generally, I do not cut my, my fat quarters until I'm either doing a massive cutting and I do a bunch of them together or I have a specific plan. When I do cut my fat quarters, and I'll, I'll put the link up above of how I do that, I, I generally will cut a 15 inch piece. Now, I'll, a lot of times I'll cut two 10 inch squares like layer cakes and then I'll cut a row of five inch and do some charms and then that leaves me with it generally at least a two and a half up to three inch piece depends on how straight your fat quarters cut um, and the fat quarter shop does a great job I never come up short and we've got the uh, the two and a half inch strip on the end so I get multiple pieces out of it the nice thing about cutting the uh, the 10 inch is it is a quicker method. Now, a lot of times I'll just cut all charms and I'll get a dozen charms out of a fat quarter because five inch squares are so handy. At, you know, I used it for the center of these log cabins. I use them in charm square quilts. Um, you know, they make, they're perfect for doing the disappearing nine patch. There's so much you can do with them. And so I like to have a lot on hand, but the 10 inch gives you a little more flexibility as well with a larger piece. But if I need the five inch, it's very easy to cut it down. So, you know, if you're going to be cutting your fabrics, think about the sizes you most commonly use. And I think we've all kind of been, um, what do I want to say, trained or, um, yeah, that's probably the best word, trained to the current pre-cut options that we have today. And you know, they work out really great because we've got the fat quarters. Um, that's sort of our starting point. And we can create different uh, pre-cuts out of the fat quarters that combine with other pre-cuts that we can buy that are all ready to go. Oh, I just love these fabrics. I am excited about this and can't wait to get started. So there is one more I want to show you, another bundle. I think I told you there's a new quilt store in town. Oh my goodness, I found some wonderful fabrics. Let me show you those. These are the new fabrics I bought at the new quilt store in town. I am so excited. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to control myself. And it's beautiful, it has lots of nice displays, multiple rooms so you can wander through with different themes and quilts on the wall and they do quilting in the shop. So yes, we I found my new happy place. So I'm excited about that. But check out these, these pretty cave facet prints that I got. I uh, bought a yard of each of these and these are wonderful for livening up a quilt. If you need to add some color, some interest, and just want to kind of liven it up a bit, these are very playful quilts. And you can use these together. You can use them individually with quilts. Um, there's so much you can do. 
but don't be afraid to go with the bold patterns. It looks wonderful. Now this is one that I've used before in different colors and I love it in the red and hot pink. And these little spots, you know, these little, they're, they're flowers. They're like a little carnation kind of a flower. But the extra color in there, just, it's like the dots. It just adds some wonderful, wonderful interest. And just look how well these two go together. And, you know, a lot of these, they, they just really work well. And I've used a lot of these, and I really, really like them. So I got a yard of each, and they were 30% off. K Facet for 30% off. Great, great deal. I was excited about that. So I'm set for some of these uh, for, the, for the near future. And I wanted to go bright colors for my spring and summer quilts and, you know, getting into that now that I'm sort of done with Christmas and I got the pink and red out of my heart once out of my heart oh my goodness out of my <laughs> out of my system so that I can can move on to other colors and uh, so here we are well I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these but there will be some fun uh, fun quilts with these prints in them now this is particularly fun I really like this this is by P and B textiles and I found the name here we go I wasn't sure the name wasn't on the ticket it's called full bloom by country or excuse me by country by Courtney Morgenstern you know I think I have to open this I wasn't going to because sometimes when I open them I get into them and it's like no I'm not supposed to do that yet but I'll, I'll tie it back up after I don't know how well they tie back up but just I love these fabrics, the colors. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And of course, you know I love florals. And when you get into these watercolor prints, they are so beautiful. Look at this. Ah, what are those chrysanthemums called with the little sp spider chrysanthemums maybe? I don't know, but they are pretty. I love the the color, the color selection in these. Look at the beautiful colors. And that's what's fun to get a, a primary print, a focal print that has lots of color and then pull your solids in. If you notice, that's what they do. So they take the colors out of these prints and create so near solids, um, but background fabric or background colors in fabrics that are going to coordinate. And that's how they put a, a collection together. And you can do that yourself. Like, you know, like I showed you with some of these, take one and just start adding to it and pull your fabrics together. Start with a collection and see, it would be very easy to bring in some of these because look at how well these colors would work with all this and so don't don't limit yourself and think you can only use these fabrics in one quilt and nothing else um just you know you like that last quilt the quarter log cabin that i'm working on there's over 100 fabrics in there and that's okay and it's a lot of fun but i love the bubbles um the dots whatever we want to call them but they are great fun and you gotta love some good text. What does it say in here? Oh, bloom and find a reason to love and love. Oh, here we go. Love to grows here. And I'm not sure. I'm, I'm a smile always. So there's just some fun, you know, happy words, which is great. And again, all the same colors. The geometric is really pretty. And you know, something like these, if these colors aren't in the collection, you can you can pull in other colors, even if they're off by a shade or two. You know, we have these sort of um, golden, uh, not quite russety colors that would be pretty in here that you could bring in and add to it because it's not one of the fabrics. You could add that. So if that's a fabric you have on hand, you know, just look and see what works. So here's the blue with the uh, the text, which is pretty, and the dots, of course. Ooh, you know, I love graphics. I love, um, what do I want to say, angular pieces, but I like when they're a bit off kilter. That's why I like these dots, because they're not exactly circles. I like this because it's not completely filled in. There's lights, there's dark, it's a watercolor, 
and it sort of blends and it's modeled back and forth, but yet you see the stripe. How awesome would this look in like a star quilt? Would this being the star points maybe or something like that? Oh, I like that print. And then these where you have just a single color, it, it can become, um, you know, sort of one of those restful places where your eyes see the color, but there's not so much going on that you can just sort of pause for a moment before moving on to what comes next. And it looks like this is in a number of different colors. Ooh, another one of these. These are so pretty. I like those stripes. I like those a lot. And there we have the text on red and more of our bubbles, our dots. Ooh, and here's, this is pretty. That's very springy. I like that. That'll go good with those other fabrics that I thought would make a spring, pretty spring quilt. And the greens. Oh, this is, oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, these are panels. Oh, my, look at this. How fun. I did not know there was a panel in here. This is going to be great fun. All right. So, I've not done a panel quilt before. I'm going to have to think about this and come up with a fun idea to pull this together. So if you've done panels and, you know, have some ideas you want to share with me, definitely. Oh, and there's a big one in here, too. Check this out. This is pretty. So let's see. I, I think I can show you. So we have Love Grows here and Always Find a Reason to Smile. And Love Blooms Around You. Look at that. Oh, wow. I love it. And then what do we have here? Live Life in Full Bloom. How fun is that? And Grow Wild and Free. Okay, so, you know, there's some really good, good uh, messages, a good theme going here. And, of course, the flowers have me sold. This is going to be fun. So that's a great, great fabric. And again, it's called Full Bloom. So, you know, grab your fabrics together. See what you have. Use what's on hand. And how can you mix what you already have? And maybe if you are going to go shopping, get one or two pieces that will work with what what's already there. And you don't always have to buy an entire new collection. And you don't always have to buy fabric. I think you might be surprised with what you have that you can use together if you kind of take a little step out of your box and try something new and different. But remember, always go with some lights and darks and, you know, you have your, your primary focal fabric and just, just have fun. Make a beautiful quilt. Oh my goodness, you'll absolutely enjoy enjoy doing that. But thank you so much for being here with me today. I've had so much fun sharing these fabrics with you. Now next week, I'm going to Quilt Con in Atlanta. Oh my goodness, it is a huge quilt show and I am so excited. Check out Instagram next week um, at Quilt Con and Q-U-I-L-T-C-O-N. I think it's like Quilt Conference or something. But um, their Instagram page will have a ton of a ton of um, photos because everybody will, they themselves will load the page up, but everybody who's there will add add images. So it'll be great fun to see the, all the quilts. Their, their display quilts are fabulous. Oh my goodness. And they're just so pretty and some great ideas. So I will have another load of fabric soon, and I'm excited about that. But don't think I just stock it up and store it on a shelf. I've used just about every fabric I bought last year, plus some that I had on hand already. So I'm being really good about using my fabrics. And my scraps. Oh yeah, I may have a bundle left over from that quarter log cabin, but I have some plans in mind for it. So get your fabrics out and get some ideas flowing. Get inspired and make a beautiful quilt. Thank you so much for being here. It was a pleasure. I had so much fun with this. And I can't wait to see the quilts you come up with. Be sure you, you post them out there or send them to me or put them on Instagram and share them with everybody. Have a fantastic day.